Now this is how blood, uh, fats float around in our blood, in these spheres. Inside the sphere are fat or triglyceride and cholesterol stuck to triglyceride or cholesterol ester, cholesterol stuck to fatty acid. And outside is this surface of other fats, phospholipids and cholesterol, as well as some protein, some big chunky bits to try to hold it together. But this is one of the spheres that we have in our blood. There are a whole lot of different lipoproteins and they vary in size. We talked about small dense LDL, but you know there's something even smaller, which is high density LDL, look at the high density lipoprotein, which is the so-called good form. And then these gigantic spheres, which you make in the blood after a meal to transport all that fat that you've eaten to the liver and to the and to your other organs. So, as I said, from the intestine you eat fat and you make this big chylomicron particle and then the tissues keep taking out their, the bits they want and the bits that's left, the chylomicron remnant, goes to the liver. And then the liver itself can make its own fat from sugar, as we all know, or um, but it can export fat and the, the cholesterol that it makes. It can export them. And the export particle, the export sphere, is called VLDL cholesterol. This one here, VLDL cholesterol. Now, VLDL cholesterol is full of triglyceride. It's being packaged out so that the people who use triglyceride for fat can use it. And as the fat's being taken out of it, it gets smaller and smaller. So VLDL becomes LDL. And once it's given up all of its triglyceride and distributed a bit of cholesterol, it's finished and should go back to the liver and be recycled, like a truck that's empty, go back to home base and fill up again. So this is all, now HDL is a bit of a mystery, this particle, so it just seems to form whenever there's lots of cholesterol around that needs to be taken back to the liver. But this is all natural. There's no blood vessels involved here. This is what nature intended for triglycerides and for cholesterol. So the liver's making VLDL, it's gradually being transformed. The intermediate density lipoprotein can go back to the liver. The LDL, that's the normal LDL can go back to the liver. That's all health. And without it, there's people that can't do this, they're incredibly sick. <laughs>